Hello everyone and welcome to Cult Fit. Today we are going to be doing a lower body strength and conditioning session with me. My name is Ritesh and I'm going to be leading you throughout the next 50 minutes. All right. Now in today's session we will be having a warm up and then we we'll jump on to the main workout. We have an exciting finisher Tabata and then we'll end the session with a cool down. Okay? How do we go about it? I'm going to be demonstrating the movement to you and we're going to be doing a couple of reps together and then I tell you for how much time we're going to be doing and I'm going to tell you when to rest. I'll be performing all the movements along with you. So let's get started without any further delay with our first part that is mobility. Okay? So the first part, the warm up, the the first movement is going to be alternate lunges. Watch me first how we perform the movement. Okay? We're going to stand with our feet shoulder width apart over here. This is going to focus on our quads, lunge, uh, hamstrings and our glutes. I'm going to take my right leg forward, go down, keeping my torso up, almost close to the ground, come back up. Remember, I do not go with some moment, any momentum and hit the knee on the ground. Okay? Take it stop, start slow. Same thing again. Now once I go with the right, down, back, with the left leg forward, down and back. Okay? The second movement over here is going to be kneeling adductor stretch. Let's start with the first movement first and then we move on to the second movement. Ready to begin? Okay. We're going to be doing this 30 30 seconds. All right. Let's start in 3 2 1 and go. Down up another leg. And up. In case if you're finding it difficult to go go all the way down, you can cut the range of motion. Watch me perform the next rep. How do we scale this movement down? Halfway and back. Halfway and back. All right, whatever suits you. Let's take it step by step. Keep going. Last one. And relax. All right, like I said, it's a lower body workout. So, mobility on the warm up will be focused on activating all the muscles in our lower body. The second movement is going to be kneeling adductor stretch. For this, I want everybody to go down on the ground, palms on the floor, take your left leg outside over here, you can keep it on the heel or you can keep the leg flat, whatever is comfortable with you. Now from here, I want you to push your body back, okay? Now you will notice once you push your body back, you will feel a stretch in the inner thigh over here, our adductor muscles. Good? 30 seconds each side. Let's start. In 3, 2, 1, and go. Push your body back. Yes, you feel it. Can you feel it? And forward. Very good. Once again, push it back. Take it easy, alright? Don't force yourself. And back. Very good. Take your time if you find that it's very tight. Spend some time over there. Come back. Last time. And done. Let's change over to the other side now. Please take your right leg outside. Like I said, it's up to you. If you want to keep it at the heel, no problem. If you want to keep your leg down, same thing. Let's start in three, two, one, and go. Back. Oh. And forward. Very good. Push as much as the body is allowing. Don't force yourself too much for anything. Forward. Back. Couple of times more. Spend some time over there. Feeling the inner thigh. Very good. Forward. Last time. And almost done. Very good. Okay, so with this, we are done with two warm up movements. Now we move on to the third one. It's called Bird Dog. It's going to be for our lower back and our midsection. Okay, what I want you to do is get down on the floor. Keep your knees in line with the hip and palms in line with the shoulder. Okay. What I want you to do is we are going to take our left hand forward and down and le right leg back parallel to the ground and down. And we're going to do this together. Left hand forward, right leg back. Okay. Watch me over here. We're going to do 30 seconds each side. We start with left hand forward and then after 30 seconds move on to the right side. All right, let's begin with me. We start in three, two, one, and go. Left hand forward, right leg back. Get the knee and the elbow together and repeat the move. Take your time over here. 
see once we extend our entire lower back is getting engaged keep going last three two one and done good we are going to do the same thing the other side now all right now on my count we start in three two one and go right and forward and back take it easy take it slow no need to hurry over here extend completely if you want to give a one second pause over there that also will be good few more reps last one and done okay so with this we're done with three movements now moving on to the fourth one it's going to be overhead squat how do we go about it we keep our feet shoulder width apart right if you want you can slightly point your toes outside right the 45 degree angle both ways okay now from here i'm going to keep my hands up i'm going to descend down keeping my core tight hips back and back neutral watch me hands up over here i go down and up in case if you're not able to go completely down and your back is rounding you can cut the range of motion watch me i go here i stop and i come up right okay let's do this together take a stance feet shoulder width apart tightly outside hands up we start in 3 2 1 and go down and up very good let's go 30 seconds all the way down once you go down don't get your hands forward all right down up come on keep going just getting started last one come on come on come on and done okay with this we are done with round 1 of the warm up we are going to do another round all right ready okay let's go what was the first movement alternate lunges forward lunges let's start together in 3 2 1 and go down up same thing on the other side remember not to round your back or put your weight forward all right i want the torso to be up very nice come on face up accordingly you don't have to go too fast it's just a warm up time right now take it easy last rep and done okay now with this we move to the second movement kneeling adductor stretch get on the floor please everyone very good take your left leg outside yes okay let's begin in 3 2 1 and go go back all the way spend some time over there and forward 30 seconds each side okay take your time you'll feel it in the inner thigh over here slowly push back forward one sec pause keep pushing back nice last three two one and then okay let's quickly do it on the right side as well right leg outside and we begin in 3 2 1 and go ooh yes you see you will notice a lot of times the one side is tighter than the other and whichever side you identify is tighter you spend some more time over there like for example my right side feels a little tighter than the left side so i'm going to spend one second pause over here more time and then forward come on last one Woo. okay and done all right now with this we move on to the third movement stay on the floor we're going to move on to bird dog okay remember 30 30 left hand right leg and the other combination is right hand left leg we start on my command take a position first remember palms in line with the shoulder knees in line with the hip okay don't be back 
in line with the hip. We start with the left hand first. Together in three, two, one, and go. Extend and bring them close. Very nice. Keep going. Few more reps. Whew. Last one. And done. Alright, with this, we move on to the other side now. Remember, the ones you're doing this, don't throw your body, okay? Stay in control. We start in three, two, one, and go. Move in close. Yes, come on. Keep going. Few more. Almost there. And last one. Come on. Done. Okay. How do you guys feel? All warmed up? Opened up? Yes? I am definitely. Okay. Okay, if you have noticed in our warm-up, we have focused on activating our inner thigh muscles, our quads, our hamstrings. Alright, and also our lower back. But remember, we have one more movement left in the warm up, which is uh, overhead squats. Yes, I almost forgot about it. Okay, no problem. Let's do that together. We start in three, two, one, and go. Hands up, let's go with me. Down, up, all the way down, and up. Come on, everyone. Nice and easy. Few more reps. Remember, in case going all the way down is difficult for you, you can cut the range of motion like this. And up. Okay? Last one. And done. Woo! Okay. Now is the time for me to say that now we are all warmed up and it's time for us to move on to the main workout. Right? Have a sip of water. 30 seconds rest. And then I'll tell you the movements in the main workout and we'll do them together. Yes? Good job. Great job, everyone. 20 seconds, guys. Just move around. Don't drink too much of water right now. A couple of sips, small, small ones. I think that would do. Ten more seconds. With this, we'll move on to the main workout. Remember, warm up, main workout, finisher, cool down. Four parts to it. All right, cool. So, like I said, the session is focused on strengthening our lower body, increasing strength and endurance in our lower body. All right. The first movement in the main workout is called staggered squats. Okay. Remember, in air squats, I told you to keep your feet shoulder width apart and in line. But over here, there's going to be a additional step. Watch me. How do we go about it? Keep them shoulder width apart. Okay. Now take your right leg slightly forward. Half feet forward. Now we're going to do the same thing. Squats only. Not with the hands up. Hands close to the chest. But with this stance. Okay. Watch me over here. I go down. And I come up. But I keep my torso again straight. I do not round my back. Alright. My left leg. The leg which is behind. Stays on the toe. Watch me again. Stays on the toe. You see, it's on the toe over here right now. And I come up. I'll tell you the, the benefits of this. Let's do this together. Warm up 15, 15 seconds, 15 right side, 15 left side, so that we get used to the movement. Good? Okay. Let's start with me. Keep a left leg back to start off with the warm up with. 15 seconds this side, 15 seconds the other side. No break in between. Cool? We start in three, two, one. And go. All the way down and up. Very nice. Down and up. In case if you're not able to go all the way down, no problem. Continue the movement. You go halfway and come up. As simple as that. And once your body is comfortable, you can go down. Last one. And done. Like I said, no rest. Left, right leg back on the toe. Okay. We start in three, two, one, and go. Down. Up. 
very good now you see that my leg is back so my quads are getting used more on one side okay so on the toe last one and done so when my leg is on the toe i put more emphasis on my quads over here okay so one on the left side one on the right side that's the difference from the normal squat to this one okay so we are clear with the first movement let's move on to the second movement which is quad rockers with alternate progress watch me once let's do this together get down on the floor i get into a high plank position some distance between my feet over here i take my hip to the ankle okay and i extend my legs completely you see completely over here now again take them to the ankle and extend them completely now what we're going to do this in this movement is five times quad rockers add with one alternate frogger okay now how do we do alternate frogger once i come over here i take my right leg forward back left leg forward back again continue with quad rockers got it so five times this one time alternate frogger for the amount of time i specify once we start the workout but this is a warm up round so let's get started along with me for 30 seconds okay as many as possible for the 30 seconds we start in 3 Two, one, and go. Quad rockers. One, two, three. Remember, extend your legs completely. Four. Last one. Five. And now time for or in forward. Right. Back. Left. Back. Continue with quad rockers. Come on. Two, three, four, five, and right forward. Left forward. and done good okay so this was our second movement now with this we move on to a third movement so together we have four movements in our main workout okay okay let's take 10 seconds for rest okay now i'll use this time to explain our third movement we're going to be doing a broad jump with shuffle back All right i'm going to face this side and show the movement to you So first thing what I do is I jump forward, all right, and then I shuffle back. Good. So this is the way I'm going to go ahead with the movement. I jump forward and I shuffle back. Clear? Now in case if you don't find the jump comfortable, what you can do is walk, 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 shuffle, 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 shuffle at a slow pace. Walk, 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 shuffle, 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 shuffle. Clear? Okay. Let's do the warm up round. 30 seconds. We start in three, two, one, and go. Broad jump. Shuffle back. Yes. Now, shuffle back. Very good. Come on. Few more seconds. Two more reps. Few more times. Very good. We're gonna make it more harder. Stay low and come back. Okay. Come on. Show you one scale down version. Shuffle, 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 and back. Okay. Now with this, we are done with the third one. All right. Now the fourth movement is going to be high plank, arm reach. We're going to work on our down. Get down on the floor. Okay. What we're going to do is again do a high plank position first. Keep some distance between your feet. Okay. Otherwise, it will become very difficult to balance. From here. I raise my left hand straight and down, right hand straight and down. What you'll notice is that once I raise my left hand up, my body automatically tries to turn, and that's when I engage my obliques to stabilize it in the center. Okay? All right. Let's do this. This is just a warm up round, yeah. We start in three, thirty seconds. All together, alternate. Two, one. and go come on left hand up right hand up no need to hurry in this movement up up very nice keep going take your time you see if i lose control of obliques i start turning that's where i have to focus last one and 
done Woo. was it the warm up of the main workout or the first round okay don't know about that all right so now we know all the four movements what we're going to be doing now is we're going to do 60 seconds each each movement 60 seconds this is going to be a tough one i know but i'll support you you inspire me i'm going to keep you inspired and we're going to push ourselves all right 60 seconds each movement followed by 20 seconds of rest is that clear 60 seconds 20 seconds rest once you finish all the four movements we're gonna get 30 seconds of break like this we're gonna go for three to four rounds continuously depending upon how do you guys feel after three rounds we increase it to four clear okay 15 seconds rest we're gonna have a sip of water it's up to you and then we're gonna begin together with our first movement Whew. I'm sure this first round over here which I termed it as warm up or the main workout was not kind of warm <laughs> I can feel it okay we'll get, take a stand first movement staggered squat remember 30 30 this time 30 with left side 30 with right side let's get ready to feel the burn in our quads now I'm gonna go ahead with my right leg forward this time okay ready we start in three remember the stance two one and go down take your time all the way up very good come on right now because my left toe is up so i'm putting more emphasis on my left quad over here 30 seconds each side team come on let's do this Last one, and done. Let's quickly change over to the other side. Come on, come on, come on. We start in three, two, one, and go. All the way down. Nice, and up. Good, it will help you a lot in your ankle mobility too. You will see that it's a little difficult to balance this way. Because we are on our flat feet on one leg, and on toe on the other side. But targeting our muscles in a different way. Come on, keep going. Last one. And done. Woo. Like I promised, we're going to get some rest in between, but not much 15 seconds. The next movement, remember, five quad rockers, one alternate forwards. Get down to the floor. Not much time to rest. We start in three, two, one, and go. Take a position. Come on. One. Keep the count. Two. Come on, champs. Three. Four. One more. Five. And time for right leg forward. Back. Left leg forward. Nice. Come on, five more. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Come on, right leg forward. It's gonna be for 60 seconds. Come on, team. Let's leg forward. Now in case you want to do a scale down of this, you can place your knees on the ground, go back and go forward. Go back and forward. Come on, push yourself. Three. Keep going. Five. Time for it forward. Right forward. Back. Left forward. Come on. Ooh. Three, two, one, and done. All right. Good job over there. Do you feel the burn in your quads? I certainly do. <laughs> Very nice team. Okay. Now, the next movement is going to be the jump one. Broad jump, we shuffle back. 60 seconds. Oh man, come on. Take your position. We start in three, two, one, and go. Jump. And back. Come on. Back back come on team very nice yes Woo. keep going 60 seconds remember in case we we'll do a scale down one walk walk down shuffle 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 stand walk 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 shuffle 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 shuffle, shuffle. Stand. Keep going. Keep 
Two more seconds. Last one. And done. Woo. So the third, fourth movement. High plank, arm bridge. Woo. Time to rest. Very good. Two more seconds. We start in three, two, one, and go. Left leg, left hand up. Right hand up. Very good. Come on, focus. One step at a time. No giving up. Push yourself. Come on, keep going. Try to stay in the center. And straight up, paddle to the ground. Few more reps, come on champs. Keep going, last one. And done. Woo. That was round one, along with the warm up round two. But let's count it as round one for now. Okay, we have earned ourselves some rest. 30 seconds of rest. Whew. Have a sip of water if you feel like. Don't drink too much. Heart rate is high. Very nice. You guys feel the tightness, the burn on the cords? Yes, and we're doing it right. Good. Some more time. Few more seconds. Get ready mentally. Take your stance. We start with the right leg forward. Staggered squats. Okay. 30 seconds each side. Round two. Let's go. We start in three. Two, come on team, one, and go. All the way down, and up. Remember, you can cut it halfway in case if you are finding it difficult to go all the way down. Watch me, cut it halfway, and stand up. Down, up, down, up, come on. Reduce the distance between the feet, in terms of the one which is forward and the one which is back, and you will have more focus on the Quads. Last one and done. Okay, quickly let's change over to the other side. Whichever feet you have the toe on the ground, the core is going to get more focus. All right, we start in three, two, one, go. Down and up. Down, up. Very good. Be a little bit more genuine, not like me. You see, I take a pause at the bottom for rest, but you don't do that. You keep going continuously. Come on. Few more reps. Keep going, champ. Last one. And done. Woo. Oh, feel you in this round. Okay, let's get down on the floor for the next movement. Quad rockers. This one is going to burn. Woo. So let's do it together, okay? Remember, once you get tired, scale down version. You put your knees down on the ground, right? So let's start. In three, two, one, and go. All the way down and forward. Completely extend your legs. Right? Okay? Two. Come on. Three. Four. Five. Now this time, legs don't go forward. Right leg forward. Back, left leg forward. Come on, continue again. One, Woo. two, three, four, five. Leg forward, right, back, left, back. I'm gonna move on to scale down one now. Down, and forward, knees down, hips to the ankle, forward. Woo. This one also is burning. Come on, champs. Four, five, time for leg forward. Very good, last one. And done, Woo. this one is toughy. Okay, cool. Some time to rest. With this we move on to the 
third movement broad jump to shuffle back okay get ready take a stand we start in three two woo, one and go jump shuffle back very good now the scale down version walk 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 partly sit down and come back all right let's go very good stay focused because we're moving backwards we're not very used to move backwards maintain your balance tightly keep your weight grind forward very good come on don't give up this is where you get stronger mentally and physically let's do the stamps keep going let's go let's go few more seconds and done Woo. Hmm. I can feel it what about you guys yes <laughs> Come on, let's do this together as a team. All right, going down, going, let's get down on the floor. We move on to the fourth movement, which is high plank arm reach. Okay, get in the high plank position. We start in three, 60 seconds. Two, one, and go. Right hand, left hand forward. Right, come on. Go ahead. Try not to waste too much, turn too much, balance, keep the midsection tight. Come on. Last two reps. Two more. Five more seconds. Come on. Three, two, one. And done. Okay. And we're done with two rounds. Yes. Let's take a break. 30 seconds. And then we come back for third round. Can you feel it in your quads? This tightness. Woo. Remember, at any point of time, in case we feel it's becoming too tight, you can shift down to the scale down version. Uh, one which is slightly modified. Yes, because you got to keep going, you cannot stop, let's do this together as a team. Okay, get ready for the first one, round three, staggered squats, we start with right leg forward, take a stance, in three, two, come on champs, one, and go, down, up, very good, very nice. Whew. Keep going. Come on. Last one. And done. All right, let's move on to the next one. 30 seconds with the left leg forward. We start in three, two, one, and go. Come on, champs. Going. Few more seconds. Come on. That's three, two, one, and done. Woo! Now the most difficult one will come now for me, quad rockers. I'm sure it'll be easy for all of you guys there. Yes? <laughs> Let's think it that way. Come on. Get down on the floor. Remember five counts back and forward. The moment you feel the quads are getting too tight, Put your knees down on the ground, no problem. Okay. We start in three, two, one, and go. All the way down, forward. 
Down. Come on, chance. Whew. Two more. Four. Five. All right, leg forward. Yes. Left leg forward. Nice. This one, scale down. Come on. Down. Forward. Whew. You can still feel it on your calls. Keep going. Last one, five. And down, right leg forward, back, left leg forward, back. Let's go to the normal one. One, two, three, four, five. All right, right leg forward, down, left leg forward. Last one, and done. Ooh. This one is a tough one. Oh. I can feel my cord on fire. I'm really tight. What to do? You gotta do it. This is how we get strong. So just keep moving. Just know your body. When you scale it down, when you slow down, when you increase the pace. Yes, let's move on to the third one. Broad jump and shuffle back. Okay? Let's start in three. Come on, champs. Two. One. And go. Jump. Shuffle back. Very good. Very nice. Come on. Let's go champs. Whew. Very nice. Right now the jump will become a little tough but the quads are tight. Whew. Keep going. Come on a few more times. Few more seconds. Almost there. Last three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> Having fun. Oh, I'm being honest, I'm struggling here. <laughs> but that's how we get strong, okay? That's how we get strong mentally, that's how we get strong physically. Let's do it together as a team. All right, moving on to the fourth movement. High plank, arm reach. Come on champs, take your position. We start in three, two, one, go up and go. One, come on, 60 seconds. Keep going. Push yourself. In case this becomes tough, keep your knees on the ground and then raise your arm up, down, up, down. We keep moving. The aim is to just keep moving throughout. Come on, challenge yourself. Up. Push yourself. Two more seconds. You can do it. Three, two, one, and whew, done. <laughs> what do you say? Okay, let's go for one more round. Okay, take a break right now. We go for one more round, but we cut down the time by half. All right? This time we are gonna go for 60 seconds. Cut down by half, additional. So all together, we'll do four and a half rounds including the first which I called bomb <laughs> okay so 15 seconds side squat right side 15 seconds left side okay let's start in three okay break time 10 seconds more get ready come on come on come on don't let your mind think we start with the right leg forward 15 right 15 left in three two one and go come on champs Whew. Okay, legs are not stabilizing right now. Come on, 15 seconds. That's all. Two more. And done. Change the legs. Left leg forward. We start in three, two. 
Come on, champs. One. And go. Down. Whew. Keep going. Few more, few more. <clears throat> That's the way. Last one. And done. Okay. Time for some quad rockers. The most difficult one. <laughs> I got to do. You gotta do it. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yes. Come on. We start in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five. Right leg forward. Back. Left leg forward. Go. Come on. One, two, two three, four. Five. He's down. Right leg forward. Back. Left leg forward. Come on. Push yourself. One. Two. Thirty seconds only. Come on, team. Three. Four. And last one. Done. All right. Woo. One more minute of workout is left. Get ready for the third one. Broad jump to shuffle back. Let's go. In three, two, one, and on. Jump. 30 seconds. Whoa. Legs are too tight, unable to move them. But you just keep moving as much as possible. Whew. Come on, chance. Two more seconds. Last, three, two, and done. Okay, get down on the floor. Some rest time, followed by the last one. 30 seconds, high plank, arm reach. Okay, last one. Let's give it all you got. Start in three, two, one, and go. Come on, up. Come on, let's finish strong. Thirty seconds only. Push yourself. Come on, last rep. Go three, two, one, and done. Okay, time for some rest. Give yourself a good round of applause. Great job, everyone. Now with this, we move on to the final part. The finish here at Tabata. But we'll take some break before this. Calls are on fire. Whew. Nice. Don't drink too much because we're gonna be working on our core now. We have two movements. Coming up, one is uh, hollow hold, okay? And the second one is gonna be high knees. The high knees are gonna be really tough now. Let's try not to go too fast in the high knees, uh, but if you can, definitely do so, yeah? Okay, 30 seconds more rest. Get your breath back in control. Last four minutes of workout, team. Let's do this together and finish on a strong note, okay? I'm gonna take my position over here. Let's get down. All right. Okay, get down. And now I'm gonna tell you the, both the movements. Tabata is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. 20 seconds we work out, 10 seconds we take break, and we do this for eight rounds back to back, okay? Um, the first movement, we're gonna be alternating between two movements. The first movement is gonna be hollow hold. I'll demonstrate this to you. It's gonna work on your entire midsection. I want you to lie down on the ground. From here, I want you to lift your legs up and lift your upper body up and hands straight up over here. The entire emphasis is on the core okay so this is gonna be the first movement the second one is gonna be high knees you stand up you take your knees up and alternate all right now in case this is difficult what you can do is you can march on the spot but the idea is that we don't stop in the last four minutes of our workout cool 
let's do this snark team come on eight rounds remember alternate first one is going to be hollow hold second one is going to be high knee we'll do four times let's start this come on we start in three two one and go 20 seconds come on Whew. keep it tight in case this is difficult you can bend your legs a little bit but try to keep them straight over here flex here hold 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 20 seconds only come on that's three two one and okay time to get up high knees this break time 10 seconds yeah remember we start high knees in three two one and go 20 seconds come on keep going Come on, chance. Let's get done with this. Last three, two, one, and done. Great job. Okay, let's get down for the next one. That's hollow hold, remember? Okay, we start in three, two, one, go. 20 seconds. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Three, two, one, and done. Whew. I've really felt this one. Okay, time for some high knees. We start in three, two, one, and go. Come on. Go ahead. Few more seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Woo. Two done, two to go. All right, we start in three, two, one, and up. 20 seconds. Come on, come on, come on. No giving up. Ooh. Three, two, one, and back. Come on. Time for high knees. Start in three, two, one, and go. This one more on after this. Come on, James. Keep going. Three, two, one. Woo. Last one. Let's do this together. Come on. Last one, give it all you got, okay? And down. We start in three, two, one, and go. Come on, 10 more. Three, two, one. Nice one, team. Last 20 seconds. Let's give it all you got. Last 10 seconds, let's count together, okay? We start in three, two, one, and go. Come on. Come on, count with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Let's do it. 4, 3, 2, and done. Woo. Ooh, give yourself a round of applause. This was, this was not easy. Great job, everyone. Take rest, have a sip of water. Good work. Ooh. 
I can feel the tightness in my quads. I'm sure you guys will be doing it too. The session will focus on lower body and along with that a lot of core. Now we're done with the workout, we only have stretching, there's nothing, no jumping or moving uh, too much so you can have more water if you want to. Great work everyone. Nice. Now you'll see that we had a different kind of squat today, a staggered squat. With this we are putting more focus on one side of the quads and also on our uh, hamstrings. So our glutes, hamstring, quads and tire thing was getting used. Also our leg was on the toe, so our calves were also getting engaged more. Okay, so just get down on the floor and I'm gonna guide you through the stretching right now. We're gonna be doing it 30-30 seconds each, each movement, one time. The first one is gonna be kneeling quad stretch. And this is what I want you to do is get into a lunge position. Take your right leg forward over here. Rest your hand on the knee and lift your leg up and pull it towards your, from the ankle, pull it towards your hip and keep your body straight. And hold it over there for 30 seconds. Very nice. Just be careful in case we do not have any soft surface under your knee. In case the knee is getting impacted, I would advise you to skip this stretch. Okay? A few more seconds, hold it over there. Remember, don't push yourself too much in stretching. Take it easy. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Two more seconds. And done. All right, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Left leg forward. We take the leg back, hold it, and start. 30 seconds. Whew. Remember, don't force yourself too much over here, okay? It should relax you. Don't hold your breath as well. I think holding breath will be difficult right now. And so I'm trying to catch my breath. Great work, everyone. Amazing. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, from here, I will want you to just lie down on the floor with the chest on the floor. We're gonna go for a springs hold, okay? Watch me how we do it. Keep my elbows over here. I'm gonna raise my upper back up, legs extend completely, and stay there, okay? Starting three, Two, one. Come on. Thirty seconds only. Take it easy. All that tough part is done. This is good stuff now. Few more seconds and done. All right, from here we're gonna go for a pigeon stretch, which is gonna be 30 seconds each side for our glutes, hamstrings. Get into a different ways to get into it, but we can try with this. Get into a high plank position, get your right leg forward, and then just relax down. Now try to touch your hip to the ground and chest to the floor. Just stay there, 30 seconds. If you cannot go all the way down, you can keep be on your elbows also over here. Anything, or you feel it on your glutes. Yes. And done. Same thing the other side now. Get a left leg forward, get a high plank, left leg forward, go down. And you might notice that in the starting I told you that one side elector might be tighter than the other, same thing. You see over here, I can feel it that left side glutes are tight and they need to be stretched more. And you gotta push it a bit more back. It's very normal that one side of the body will be tight and the other, you just have to identify it and spend some more time in those areas. Stay there, come on team. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and left. Okay, right from there, we're gonna go into a Downward dog position, mountain position. Up, hips up, try to put your chest inside. 30 seconds, stay there. Keep your legs extended, feel the stretch in the hamstrings also. We'll walk forward a little bit. 30 seconds. more 
almost done. Three, two, one. From here, let's get into a butterfly stretch. Get our feet together. All right. From here, just try to get your knees down to the ground. Test up. You move them also a little bit. Boom. Last one. The just will be done with the workout. Last few more seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Woo. How are you guys feeling? Good. I feel really amazing. Thank you so much for working out with me. Everybody has their strong parts. Some people have more strength in their upper body. Some people have more strength in their lower body. For me personally, doing an endurance workout for the lower body is a kind of a toughie. And you can see that I was struggling in between as well. And that thought that if you are feeling tired and if your muscles are giving up, you try to continue by scaling the movement down. There's no harm in that. But the aim is if you're trying to build endurance along with strength, you got to keep moving for a longer duration of time. 60 seconds, a long duration for which we perform the main workout and less rest time. It was a tough one. I am glad that you guys did it and kept me inspired throughout. Okay, take care. Remember, working out is one part of it. If you do not rest well, if you do not hydrate well, if you do not eat well and if you do not sleep well, all these efforts are not going to be giving you the results what you are looking forward to. Yes, so make a promise to yourself that you don't do only one part of it, you do every, all of it. That's called balance. Take care, stay consistent and rest well. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Now we're going to sign off with our routine, with our uh, routine what we say that 3, 2, 1, we are cult, right? I'm a little tired right now, getting kind of a brain fox and I'm missing out on things. But let's make this loud and clear, all right? On my count, we're going 3, 2, 1, we are cult. Take care team, you are awesome.